What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be testing the most viral TikTok food spots in my city. There's a ton of restaurants that I see on TikTok and people hype them up so much. So we're going to be here to test it out and see if it lives up to that hype. Hope you guys do enjoy these TikTok videos. You guys all love them. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button and let's see where we're going first. All right, so this has 50,000 likes on TikTok. It says San Diego's best Mexican 18 years in a row. So it was voted best Mexican food for 18 years straight. It's called Cafe Coyote. It says try their new margarita. It has live music, fresh tortillas, complimentary photo, and it says to try the fried ice cream. Say less. All right, guys, so here in San Diego, we're actually right next to the border of Mexico. So I've had a ton of great Mexican food places. I've never tried Cafe Coyote, but I have Alex here. Hi, guys. AKA a No Sabo Kid. I'm not the best with Spanish, but I know like somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I brought him here with us because you've had your fair share of Mexican food. You're Hispanic yourself. Yep, so exactly. he's here to help judge the food with me. It should be really good. If it's voted best Mexican food for 18 years, it has Yo, to be crazy. Sure, yeah. By the way, we're in Old Town San Diego. Look at how beautiful the scenery is over here. I think it's right there on the corner bro this is the whaley house this is literally the most haunted house in the entire world what the hell i didn't realize it was right here i've tried doing like an overnight challenge here but they're super strict on filming so maybe one day i'll make it happen hey but there it is cafe coyote hey i want to learn a lot of spanish this video okay i can't learn from you because you you're no sabo yeah yeah so we gotta ask them in there okay wait i actually you follow, follow you twitter. no way yes. that's guys i follow him on twitter <laughs> what i was like i'm surprised he hasn't followed me because i'm a barb on twitter and i'm so annoying oh i do follow you, follow you. that's I'm a whole barb. Hey, you got Nicki Minaj? Okay, okay, I see you. That's you know, awesome. I remember you literally met my brother. It was at Fashion Valley. He just saw you, just came up to you. Really? Way, yeah. Hey, I, I be meeting everyone in San I Diego. Saw Anthony here. We're here because of TikTok. Oh, this is like oh. voted best Mexican food for 18 yeah. years, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're here to try it. Okay. Hey. Let's go. Table for how many? Three, please. Three, okay. Hey, he's a barb. That's awesome. I love Nicki Minaj, okay? Like, we were just listening to Moment for Life in the car. Oh my right? God, iconic Bob. Yes, my list. 100%. Come on, right too. <laughs> Give me a moment, okay? Okay, sounds good. I already love the energy here. Let's go. This is sick. Enjoy, you guys. Thank you. Hey, look at the vibes, man. Wait, Alex, oh, recognize yeah. someone. High school, bro. <laughs> no way. Yeah. What's good, my guy? How are you? This is my friend Ricky <laughs> from high school. Yo, this is crazy already. What? Yeah, Can you bro, teach him some Spanish? Poquita, poquita. No, hey, no. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I've known that kid since high school. Well, thank, thank you guys. so much. Appreciate it. It's nice to meet you. Hey, look. She's making the handmade tortillas right over there. You just know that this is about a hit. Oh, All right. Looks amazing. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. So right when we walked in we didn't hear the live music but i spotted them over there i think the server said that they're coming to our table too yeah yeah i think he goes around everywhere i said we got our chips and salsa of course first taste test we're gonna give it a shot you ready i'm picky with my salsa too so wow Bruh. bro bro wow. this salsa is actually crazy it tastes so fresh not too spicy either it's, it's like really fresh so, yeah. really fresh you can tell that everything here is made fresh the vibes so far are amazing the chips and salsa are amazing and we're gonna start ordering soon how do you say chips and salsa in Spanish? Salsa, yeah. How do you say chips? Chips, uh... <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Papas fritas? Real people don't really say that too much. But I mean, don't get information from me. <laughs> <laughs> Papas fritas y salsa. <laughs> okay, what do you want to hear? Your most popular song. I just want to get up and start dancing now. Thank you, my friend. Yes, of course. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, they deserve that for sure. I'm excited to get my food, guys. We just ordered. We'll show you when it gets here. Thank you so much. Enjoy, thank, guys. Thank, thank you Enjoy. So much. I'm not even making this up. This looks like the greatest Mexican food of all time. Wow. This is called Pollo La Crema, and it was recommended to me by three people. What is it? Basically, grilled chicken with like jalapeno cream sauce on it, and then just served with rice and beans. And you got enchiladas? I got the chicken enchiladas, bro. They look so good. No, no, it's enchilada. No, I, I'm working on not being a no sabo kid. I promise you guys, I will get better. No, what did you get? I got a carne asada burrito. That looks insane. Pollo La Crema. Yeah, yeah. Good. Thank right. you so much. How is that? That's actually insane. That's all I gotta say. Try the enchilada. Look at that chicken, bro. That shredded chicken looks insane. Oh, that tastes like I'm at my grandma's house just eating her food. That's all you need to hear to know that it's authentic Mexican food right there. Wow. Even down to the plates. Like, I know, like, just, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, these are, like, the type of plates that you would see this food on, obviously. 100%. My food is a 10 out of 10, along with the service, live music. This is a crazy yeah. experience. I didn't know this existed. Overall, the whole vibe here, 10 out of 10 for sure. How am I gonna eat this, bro? You gotta take a big bite. That is huge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. You just watch. 
walk in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Falling apart. That was crazy though. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, it's so good. You're half Mexican as well, so I am. I'm half white, half Mexican, so a little sabo here and there, but <laughs> it's all good. I just love Mexican food. I don't like to rank it to be honest, because all of it's like really good to me. If I had to, this would be like a probably a nine out of ten. I like that. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if you're hungry. Like wow. this right here. I love enchiladas, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our food and we'll see you after. All right, guys, so this is TikTok recommended. We wouldn't have got it without TikTok. So, hey, look at this. Oh! oh, oh. Mm. I gotta do the walk, bro. He can stay over there. I'll finish it. They said to do it again, like the walk. <laughs> well, he's uh, interacting with them. We're gonna finish hey, it. Yeah, they got us, bro. Stay over there. <laughs> Give the viewers a Spanish sentence. Prometo que voy a aprender a hablar más español. All right, guys, so we just had amazing, phenomenal Mexican food, but now I wanna try a drink. So I saw this on TikTok where it says the best lemonade I've ever tried. Let's check it out. So you pour the lemonade in the cup and then you mix it up. It's called S3 Coffee Bar. Bro, I think we've been here before. When? We tried the uh, gold coffee here. Oh, I know exactly. The $1,000 gold coffee. We tried it here, but I guess they have lemonade and you have to like pour it in and mix it yourself like a little potion. So let's go try it. It looks really good. So I saw this on TikTok. I don't know if you guys have this. Yeah, there's this event. Okay, yeah, can we get three of those? So what's like the actual flavor of that? So it's um sweet tea. And then you Ooh. add the lemonade and it changes colors from like a blue to a purple. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Hey guys, do you remember us being here for the coffee video? I think we sat over here. This looks sick. Let's see if it's good, bro. It looks crazy. Okay, here we go. Here's the lemon juice. Are you guys ready? It looks like a science lab. Cheers, guys, to right. science. I feel like mine's gonna overflow. Whoa, oh, it's changing colors. Wow. Hold on, and then you mix Dude, it with mix this. It. No way. Is it wow. Oh, it's purple, purple now. Dude, Dude this is <laughs> sick. Now right. it's time for the taste test. Now, this is a scooper, right? <laughs> oh, that's actually a good idea. Ooh, that's sour. I like that. Oh, that's very sour. I think we need to mix it a little more, too. All right, we'll mix it with the straw. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is it. Wow, that's really good. I feel like the it's sweet, super sweet the but bottom. it's good. It's not like overpowering sweet, it's like a good sweet. That's really good. That's incredible. Okay, so that TikTok for sure lived up to its hype. Yo, look at this. Ooh. I'm gonna have to throw this one a 9 out of 10. Like, I threw it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Really? I love to use. I'm going 10 out of 10 too, just because it's like very balanced. Now you guys make me feel bad. Another gem found from TikTok. Yep, I'm already halfway done with this. All right, let's check out the next place we're going to. It's called Dunedin in San Diego, located in the North Park area. It's a New Zealand inspired restaurant. That's cool, I have family in New Zealand. It's a New Zealand aesthetic and it makes you feel like you're actually there. They serve traditional New Zealand dishes. Damn, that looks crazy. They got the onion dip and meat pies. I've never tried New Zealand food. Yeah, they're saying it's super good, 10 out of 10, super unique and highly recommend. So let's go check it out. Dude, this is crazy. I just saw this on TikTok. Whoa, this is actually crazy. I'm in New Zealand now. Look what the water comes in. This is sick. I got you. Thank you. I think uh, we'll just do what they got on the TikTok because they said it was a 10 out of 10 and I just spilled some water, so. Thank hey, you. You're welcome. Let me probably follow me right now. Hey, okay, so this is the onion dip with some chips. All right, here we go. It smells insane, wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's actually good. It's like those chips. Sour cream and onion lays. That's what it yeah. tastes like. Hey. But well, there's just more of a high-end yeah, version this, of that. This you know? is like the actual thing right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they based it off of. That's a fire appetizer. I'm excited to try the meat pie. That's gonna be good. Thank you. All right, dude. We got meat pies. How do we bro. even attack? Like, we have plates over here. Yeah, actually. like, how do we attack that? The texture already, huh? Yeah. Like, feel that. Here we go. Ooh, right. look at the inside, bro. That's actually crazy. Look at the smoke, bro. We're gonna burn our tongues. Damn. Yeah. Hot, but it's good. This is incredible. What the heck? So soft. But it's really, really soft. Yes, guys, I eat my fries with a fork. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Right, I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Oh, hot. <laughs> like oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's actually hot. You're gonna burn your tongue. Wow, it's good, it's fresh. I've never had New Zealand food, so. I didn't even know like they had their own food. That's what that I'm saying, sense. like, that's the cool thing about videos like this is we get to discover yeah, places yeah. like this and give them the credit they deserve, so. 
I like it. It tastes like a homemade meal. It's like something my mom would cook at home. Overall, I think I'm going to rate this an 8 out of 10. Experience-wise, customer service, food, everything like that. An 8 out of 10. I'll do a 7. 7? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we have a couple more places to go to. The next one I'm really excited for. So we'll see you then. Want to see the cutest food ever? Let's see. Haru Mama, San Diego. Whoa, what the? They have stuffed Hello Kitty pandas. They are all only $7. Cute bunnies stuffed with Nutella. What the? And then there's pandas that are stuffed with spicy chicken and broccoli. That is dope. Hey, we got to check this out. So what did we get? We got the pig, the cow, the koala, and the bunny. It's a lot of animals. Dude, this is sick. <laughs> like, they literally have it on their menu. It says character buns. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. What the? No way. Thank you. It is like jelly. Yeah. This is the Nutella. What animal is that? Is that a koala? Koala, yeah. So that's strawberries and cream. These are like the main food and this is the dessert. All right. So we're trying the pig first. Pork and caramelized onions. All right, ready? Bro, look at that. Damn. That is good. Kind of like the meat pie you probably just tried. Exactly. It's like super soft. I can't describe the outside of that though. It's really like different. Not it's like, very soft. Not like a jelly or anything. It's like bread kind of. Yeah. That's crazy though. Dude, I want to try the other ones. So we got the cow. That one's ground barbecue beef, carrot, and shiitake. Wow. All right, man. Whoa. I like this one better than the first. Really? I like the first one better. Really? This is very creative, though. Once again, guys, I've lived in San Diego my entire life. Didn't know this place existed, so... And now you do. Thank you, TikTok. There's some dessert we gotta try, though. I'm hyped for this. I think the Nutella one's gonna go crazy. Yeah. I thought this was Hello Kitty at first, but I think it's just a bunny. That's not Hello Kitty? Does that not look like Hello Kitty to you guys? I thought it was, with the little red thing? Uh, maybe not. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> Tastes like a like an uncrustable with Nutella instead of peanut butter and jelly. That's a good description of it. Yeah. Fire, bro. Super good. It is like an uncrustable. Mm -hmm. This strawberries and cream. Oh, strawberries and cream, bro. Insane. What's the preparation for this? How do you make? Yeah, this? how do you even make? That's what I was thinking before it came. I'm like, how do they do this? I still like the Nutella one. That's like my favorite. Same. You can't be Nutella for me. Strawberry's pretty good though. I don't know. I think I like everything about this place to be honest. And they have like ramen and stuff. Obviously, that's not the most popular stuff, but this. This hit. I'm gonna go for a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for me. Really? I have to give it a 10. Let's go. Because, like, it's just so good. It's different. But now, we got one more we place. We have one more place, and this one's gonna be uh, pretty interesting. Let's do it. Is that my favorite, like, transition? Like, just let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's have at it. <laughs> no, right? No, Probably no, not no, that no, one. No. Let's get into it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, look what we found. Is it a squishy mirror? Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. This one's not squishy. But you gotta press hard, though. Oh, I see it. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Every time I see one of these now, it reminds me of the TikTok Life Hacks video. <laughs> All right, next spot. It says San Diego bucket list. It's called Catch. Looks like you're in a bubble overlooking the ocean. Wow, that looks beautiful. I've never eaten here before. Great view, great view. Ooh, that food looks fire. Looks like chicken and cauliflower. The inside looks insane. I think this is more of like how it looks for the experience. They got a rooftop bar, it looks like. We gotta go there, come on. This is crazy. And look at the view on that side as well. That's beautiful. That's my city right there. Yeah, I don't know if you have to make reservations, but we just pulled up. What's up, bro? How are you? You watch the videos? Hi. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. You want to say hi to the vlog right now? Hi. Hey, you're going to be in a video. That's awesome. He spotted you from afar. That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so hey, much. Thank you guys. Hey, look at this place. Wow. It doesn't look busy at all, so hopefully we can sit over there. Dude, this is sick. Seeing this on TikTok, you would think it's like a super fancy restaurant. That's what I thought. Like, someone would come take our order, but you literally just order right over there grab a number like a cafeteria and you just pick a seat we're gonna have to sit right here dude do you guys want to check out the upstairs while we wait yeah let's right. do it just gotta get a look at this beautiful view this is crazy man i'm trying to look like all comfortable but it's too tall for me it's, it's a little too tall <laughs> thank you got my shrimp taco what about you got my calamari that you're trying dude i don't like squid how do you know have you tried it before yes i have like fried no it's new food. okay i'll try it i'll try it let me just take a bite of this oh my you would hate this right here oh Yo. that's juicy for sure so juicy the tentacles how is that? I love it. Try this one right here. The tentacles are bomb. Should I dip it in this? Mm -hmm. I'm still chewing my taco. I'm a slow eater, guys. I will be out eating with friends and my friends all finish and I'm like halfway through. You enjoy your food to the fullest. Oh God, that's hot. Ooh. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, he took the whole thing. It wasn't ripping. It's not bad, right? It's not bad at all. Yeah. They're actually really good. This place is sick. Food is really good. Right by the ocean, so you know the seafood's fire here. I'm gonna go for a 9.5. I'm going 10 out of 10. You're easy with your 10s, huh? No. I gave a 7 my last one. You're right. All right, guys, I just discovered five new amazing places, all thanks to TikTok. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you all with the next video. Peace.